Hi friends, now we are solving the problem on divergence theorem. The given problem is use divergence theorem to show that integral s closed s okay r to the power of n r bar into ds is equal to n plus 3 times of integral v r to the power of n dv where s is any surface enclosing a volume v okay now we are solving this problem which one uh, which method you are applying divergence theorem we are applying in the divergence theorem s is a closed or not here they are mentioned clearly it is a closed only s surface is a closed surface right so we can apply the gauss divergence theorem what is the gauss divergence theorem statement we have actually double integral s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to integral v one moment please triple integral v del dot f bar dv right so what is the f bar here you have f bar is nothing but here f bar dot n bar directly here you have f bar is equal to r power n r bar sometimes you see friends this also they will give like integral s f bar ds also both will be same in this case you see r to the power of n into r bar this is you can write r to the power of n into xi plus yj plus zk simply you can also write here summation x into r to the power of n i times that's it x i times r to the power of n you can write outside into summation x i it's a constant only you see i am writing like this here r to the power of n outside summation x i now what do you need to find div f bar div f bar that is nothing but a del dot f bar symbolically you can also write this as do by do x of f1 simply yes or no do by do x of f1 from this what is x1 you can say summation of this what you can say r to the power of n into x is the i equation yes or no r to the power of n into x is the i equation now so summation do by do x of r to the power of n into x uv rule here r is a function of x y z and x is a function of x so we are while differentiating x both the terms are in terms of x only both are in terms of x only so uv rule you apply u v dash is equal to u v dash plus v u dash so here you see first what i am doing r to the power of n into the derivative of x is 1 plus x into r to the power of n derivative is what actually n into r power n minus 1 into do r by do x now r to the power of n is r power n n into x into r power n minus 1 into what is the do r by do x you have x by r formula when r is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square then you will have a do r by do x is equal to x by r only okay now uh, if you have a doubt you see i will tell you here only i will explain the derivative of this is root x derivative is what 1 by 2 root into bracket into bracket derivative is what 2x so 2 2 cancel so what is the root here x square plus y square plus z square that value is r in the numerator what i have x so is it clear do r by do x is x by r right now this is also you have to simplify r to the power of n n into x square r power denominator r is there numerator n minus 1 is there so n minus 2 this is which value del dot f bar value del dot f bar value now here you see actually what you have here summation you need to write the summation for each okay now you split this one summation r to the power of n plus summation n x square r to the power of n minus 2 right see summation r power r power n is a constant so you can write outside then you will have summation 1 here what are the constant uh, here you have n and r power n minus 2 is a constant so uh, not a vector so that is why i am writing outside next you have here x square now this is you see r to the power of n into summation 1 is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 plus here um, n into r power n minus 2 is as it is summation x square is what i have summation 1 means 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 next summation x square is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square see square root of x square plus y square plus z square value is r then squaring on both sides then you, you will have r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square so this is nothing but r square only. so write an r square now you simplify this this is 3 r to the power of n plus n into r power this minus 2 and plus 2 getting cancelled then you will have r to the power of n so from this what you can take common means r power n you can take common that is you will have n plus 3 so the divergence value is n plus 3 times of r power n dv so now substitute in a gauss divergence theorem then you will have what is f actually here f bar here what i have actually r power n into r bar therefore 
therefore integral s r to the power of n into r bar ds is equal to uh, triple integral v r power n into n plus 3 times of dv okay now here you see this is n plus 3 you can write out sir now triple integral v r to the power of n into dv this one only they are given now we have to prove this one only so up to this is enough see that one only now n plus 3 times of integral v r to the power of n dv okay thank you for watching this video